All right, YouTube. Today is a Sunday morning, new day. Um, we're finishing this up right now. Uh, it's about 7:30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and the goal is to get the tank back in, basket in, all that mess, hose ran, and all that. Uh, I didn't do anything <clears throat> after what you guys saw last night. So today is the day we're gonna be. I'm gonna be making headway. So stick along, and we. Little. Okay guys, so after the time lapse I got everything cleaned up. Um Air Dog in the video, their video, they don't show this, but Greg A shows this in his video because I've been bouncing back and forth because I like some I like his videos. And he cut out the bottom of this, and I think that's a smart idea since the only purpose of this is just this return fuel and read your level so I got the grinder here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut that out and then we'll be done with this portion um if you're not running the sump air dog has it now to where I guess you can draw fuel from you know up top down uh, so you, you pretty much cut a hole here run a, run a hose down and then uh, put a new fit in up top but we're running the sump so we're, we don't we don't really care about that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now okay Little. All right, so I went ahead and cut it out. Uh, use my little grinder cut it off the first time I was doing it the wheel flew off or the, I snapped the wheel so I had to kind of just do it again but it came out good so I like this this is really cool uh, but like I said I got this idea from Greg A so I'm not gonna take the credit for it I just like it so we're gonna go ahead and keep going uh, probably gonna get the tank and possibly put drop this back in along with putting the uh, the sump put the sump back on so I'll get back guys I went ahead drop you guys saw what I did um, I'm gonna drop the tank in now put it back in the next time you guys see me uh, the tank will be mounted and I'll have more lines ran um, I'm not cutting it it's just one long line uh, they say don't cut it until like everything's back in position which obviously makes sense so I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back with you guys okay guys coming back at you with an update so I went ahead tanks in strapped up uh, I connected the first line uh, this is going to be the return line from the uh, air dog itself so the air dog return put the QD on I cut the measure uh, I recommend connecting the line on the tank side for the return first and then installing the tank because it's gonna make it way easier to cut it measure and all that good stuff um, it was it sucks putting the tank in by yourself so if you have a buddy or if you can get a jack or something I highly recommend it. Uh, I use my knees and it sucked. So I got the return line from the fast. I mean, <laughs> fast. Whoa, I messed up. From the air dog, I got the return line going back in there. Uh, I reconnected the bolt here because I had to disconnect that nut because the bolt was in the way to let the tank drop. So I went ahead and put all that back in. We're making progress now, finally. I feel like I'm actually getting somewhere. So the next step, actually, I, I bounced the steps backwards, but as long as it gets done, it don't really matter. So the next step is going to be to on the CP pump, the CP3 pump. You're gonna your inlet going to the injection pump. You're gonna take it off. Okay, this guy right here is a 17 mil. I already cracked it, so I'm gonna get that better. I hate it. sometimes this camera sucks. So I already cracked it, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. This is the inlet line. I'm gonna take it off from here and take it off from uh, the filter side because if you follow this line, it leads right back to oh man there's no light in there it leads right back to your uh, fuel filter so 
going to get that taken care of right now. All right. I will get back to you guys when I make more progress. Look at that thing. Man, that thing is fat. Wow. Okay. Anyways, so I went ahead, ran the, ran the supply line to the injection pump. It is installed now. Uh, yeah. It was pretty easy. I routed it. Uh, I'm going to get a zip tie and zip tie it in a fixed, in an upward position. That way it's not near the steering shaft. Uh, that's done down here. I did a pretty nice job trying to make sure, you know, I left it clean looking. Uh, excuse the mess. I got it running, crossing over the member. She runs all the way back. I'm going to get it propped up more because I don't want any fuel lines showing. I don't want it looking all crazy and stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the sump uh, onto the tank. I'm getting the O-rings on. I already put I already put one O-ring on the sump. Uh, I'm put the other one on and then that's pretty much it though. I've been using YouTube for references and stuff like it was nothing. So we're making progress, making progress. It's cool. Status update. So the sump is installed, got it tightened down. I ran the final line for the sump. Uh, I'm a little hesitant because the, when I threaded the uh, brass fitting, into the sump, uh, I didn't have. I don't have any tape to coat the thread, so I'm curious if it's gonna leak. Uh, I'm gonna, if it leaks, then I'm just gonna take it off and thread it. Well, I'm gonna have to buy some from the parts store, but yeah, I rotted it up here. I gave me a little bit of slack because if I, if I have to take that off, um, I probably won't be able to pull it off. You have to most likely just cut it, so that way I have some slack to take it off and tape it and all that. Uh, I'm not gonna put a lot of fuel in it when I first start. I'll probably pour like a gallon in it and then do a leak check because I'm, I'm sure I can start up with a gallon so we're running the relay right now um I just want to show you guys what that looks like you know my the biggest thing is I don't want it I'm not a huge fan of like the, the filter you know hanging out people can see it and stuff like I'm kinda like the low profile type person so I have the relay down there I'm gonna grab it mount it up here and route all this stuff okay so we'll keep on moving Okay, everybody. So I went ahead. I have. Uh oh, where's my light? There we go. All right. So I went ahead and everything is done. Um, all the lines are hooked up. Why is the lighting sucking like this? All the lines are hooked up. Uh, I double checked everything to make sure I didn't skip any steps. Uh, I went ahead already off camera and uh, pre filled the water separator filter. Now we're going to turn. I'm going to put like a gallon, maybe two gallons of fuel in the tank. And then I'm going to go ahead, turn the key, prime the filter, tighten it up, and we're going to start her up and see what happens, all right? So... Alright guys, this is take like three. Alright, so I went ahead. I I'm I don't know where to even start. I'm trying to find my flashlight. Whatever. So oh there it is. Real quick, so what ended up happening was I I didn't reconnect the original supply line, return line, and I had I forgot to take off the little stupid clip that went on for the old one so when I went to do it it was pissing everywhere I should have known better because it was loose but I just thought that's the way it was going to be but I should have known better so I got everything fixed I'm actually going to reconnect that blue line that you guys see right there I'm going to reconnect that we're going to turn the key and this thing better work
Hey, that's a success right there, boys. Nothing. No leaking. All I gotta do, I gotta hook up that, that uh, port right there with the fill, fill tube hose, right? She ain't got no fuel. I gotta pour, pour the rest of that fuel back in her. Man, oh man, I'm so happy right now. Wow. All right. Heck yeah. Well, you guys see it, it's done. Um, that is a wrap. That's how you put a, <laughs> a air dog uh, onto a Cummins. Uh, it, it wasn't hard. It's not hard. It's just, it takes a bit of time. Um, getting up and off the ground really, really sucks. I think the biggest thing that happened, or the biggest thing that made this job kind of difficult was just the fact that I was doing it by myself and I didn't have someone to help put the tank in. Taking the tank out and putting it in by myself was probably the, the crappiest part of the job. Okay guys, so I figured, uh oh, I figured it wouldn't be right to uh, end the video out like that. I'm sorry, let me switch hands. I'm holding the camera right now. I don't have a, uh, my, my bounce set up. So I don't think it would have been right to end the video without, you know, talking about or driving it really, seeing what it's so the one time I take off, every time I take off the camera, there's always something I, I want to record, and I wish I had it on film. So pretty much, I was at, um, I was at the light waiting to turn left, and the car in front wasn't moving, but the light was green. Maybe they broke down or something. So I pulled around, and I will tell you what, like I didn't even, I didn't even like try to to like burn out or try to like get up and go but like i gave her a little bit of a pedal and she she went up like you can tell the fuel is there now that is wild holy crap i went oh man i wish you <laughs> i know i sound like i'm i'm over exaggerating it but i'm before no it, you, it felt like the fuel had to build up you know what i'm saying like it had to get up first and then it's gonna let the fuel go and you know, I know somebody might comment, smart ass, be like, "Oh, well, that's called turbo lag." No, no, no. It's, I know the difference. So that was kind of cool. Um, okay, everybody. So driving back home right now. Uh, I want. I, I went ahead and wind the windows down. Try to give you guys a nice sound. Alright you guys, so that's going to be it for it, um, that's a wrap, uh, I really, there's a huge difference uh, with this air, with the air dog on, I'm, my mind is blown right now, so I'm extremely satisfied, I'm happy, uh, I checked on the sump after driving, no leaks, uh, everything looks good, so it's a good day, you know what I'm saying, thank you for watching this video, I know it was all over the place, but I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know what the next mod is going to be, honestly, because I'm probably still going to be wrapped up on the, the air dog. But I think it was cool. So it was, you can do it. You can do it. Just do it yourself, man. Don't pay someone to do it. Uh, save that money. You know, that can be going to somewhat, some other better, better cause. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let me know what you guys thought about the driving clip, the sound clip. Uh, other than that, man, you guys take it easy. Be safe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, the channel is growing. I appreciate you guys if you're new. Check out my previous videos. Uh, subscribe to the Instagram, Everything Diesel. Uh, sorry, Everything Underscore Diesel because it's Instagram. So subscribe to it. Uh, follow the movement. Follow the channel. You guys are going to keep liking more com content that comes out. So thank you very much. You guys take it easy. Be safe until next time. All right. Brian Little.